hyoid bone, and the hyoid bone inferiorly to that is the thyroid cartilage, inferior to that is the cricoid cartilage, and inferior to that are the C cartilages of the trachea. Now connecting these, this bone to this cartilage is a membrane here, which can be identified by naming the thyroid and then the hyoid, thyrohyoid membrane. Same thing for down here, starting with the cricoid cartilage, cricothyroid membrane, cricotracheal membrane over here. Cricothyroid, cricotracheal. This is the cricothyroid membrane, this is the cricotracheal membrane here. These are all tracheal membranes in between each of the C cartilages. Posteriorly, you can see the cricoid cartilage, and above that, superiorly, are the arythnoid cartilages. This is the arythnoid, this is the arythnoid cartilage. Above the arythnoid cartilage is this little hook, this little beak, which is called the craniculate. Arythnoid and the craniculate. They are attached to the true vocal cord. I'm going to open it up now, and you can see this little thread. This little thread right here is the true vocal cord. When I open it up, you can see the glottis is open, and the air can move in and out. When it's closed, it protects the trachea so that no debris gets in. Attached to these little true vocal cords, this little piece of thread here, this little piece of thread here, which is a true vocal cord, these are the vestibular folds preventing debris from getting inside around either side of the true vocal cord. These, 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 just so you can